So we've been using Gizmos for about 10 years now, and that relationship just, just grew. When we first started implementing and looking at Gizmos, I think that one of the things that attracted me to the program most of all was the opportunity to really engage children. For the first time, I saw kids really engaged and really being able to interact with the content. Simulations take events that could happen over days, system. weeks, months, sometimes even years and bring it into a few minutes. You notice they have to come into contact with another person. Oh, there we go. I am really a strong proponent of, of Gizmos because I have seen firsthand what it does in terms of engaging kids, in terms of problem solving and critical thinking. Making a statement with your present. <laughs> the Gizmo is allowing the student to manipulate the information themselves and have that connection and get those aha moments. We've been able to align to the Gizmos content right in their lesson plan. So a teacher doesn't have to go in search of it. It's already aligned to the specific skills and lessons that they're working with. Gizmos has made it a whole lot easier to plan out a lesson and get to a certain standard. Go ahead and take a second and make sure you write down a really good sentence of what's happening in this. It gives them an opportunity to perfect their communication skills, work on their communication skills. Gizmos really helps us cover both the mathematics standards and the important communication standards. With the experimental probability, it gets closer to the theoretical. And, you know, the exploration guides that go along with the gizmo are really important. And they ask the kinds of questions that make the students think. Reflex has really been a, a wonderful addition district-wide. Uh, Reflex provides an opportunity for kindergarten through eighth grade students who have specific needs in terms of fluency uh, in mathematics through their math facts. They became a lot more fluent, and so it was much better when we started doing two-by-two two multiplication, and especially with division, and their grades improved because of that. You see the transferring of knowledge from the computer to the classroom, to the skills we're learning. The kids aren't struggling with the facts anymore. They're learning the skills because they have the facts down pat. Based on the mid-year assessment, we were like right up there with the district. In our third grade in particular, their usage is phenomenal and they're one of our strongest grade levels when we're talking about math. So if I can show you this real quick. Our support person has been wonderful in working with our math folks and identifying specific lessons that align to our pacing guides. Because of the efforts that they put forth in the beginning of the year, we have had more success with Explore Learning at this school and usage because the teachers were familiar comfortable and they also had support if they needed it. Let me show you the one that I'm thinking about. Go, okay. go to find Gizmos. Mm -hmm. So teachers don't see this as how am I going to weave this into my instructional plan for the day because it has been modeled for them by the Explore Learning trainer. That's a key piece for us. We don't like to license new products without having that type of project management on board here locally. The services we've received from Explore Learning have just been outstanding. Okay, you think it's going to be even quicker? I have spoken with students, and they actually, when they're taking assessments, they say, I remember this concept because of the gizmo activity I had performed. This knowledge within them that can never be taken away from them, I mean, you see them soar. They know this stuff, you know, it's, they know it, they own it. <laughs>